Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I'm very <laughs> tired today. I am too. We have a new face this morning. So I'm Britton. I'm Patty. And I'm Melissa. Yay. Good morning. <laughs> Logan didn't set this up this morning, so I'm just really praying that you could hear us. You know, you know as I mean, always. If, you, if you can't, that's fine too, you know. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time we've gone live where you can't hear us. You mean, have we ever gotten in 10 minutes and realized that we're talking to ourselves? No, that's not happened more than three times at least. You know? No, definitely not. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're there and can comment, let us just, you know, set us at ease that you can actually hear us today. <laughs> So we have Melissa today. Um, she, if you have called in in the last, what, two months or so, you uh, have talked to Melissa. She is the new voice on the phone. The, the very voice. polite voice. <laughs> I yeah. know, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Making sure. That's I don't awesome. know where Logan is, but he must be busy. So he usually makes sure everything is set for us. <laughs> he is doing some testing on the new K-Cup machine. And, oh. um, yeah, because we're trying to dial in the flavors and, and yeah. so. Yeah, we, you know, we got the new machine, right? And yeah. we, we set it up. Yeah. And then it never occurred, I think, to any of us that, like, we have to dial in the flavoring percentages Yes. Again. Yeah. And so, what was it, Monday afternoon? We sat down with coffee. And I got to the point where I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I well, can't. And it's gross, too. So, like, if you you know, oh, have too much flavoring in a cup of coffee, it's disgusting. It knocks you off your feet. But you have to go to that edge to figure out where it is. Yes. Right? So, yes. not all the cups are great. Yeah, yeah. And some of you are like, is there even any cup flavoring in this? Like, yeah, you know, right. we're trying to figure that out. And he had just roasted the coffee that day. And I didn't realize, I kept, I'm like, I'm tasting grass, I'm tasting grass. And he's like, yeah, I just roasted it. You're getting that green. I'm like, oh, well, can we wait two days, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, um... In this machine, we might be able to put a little bit more coffee in the cups. That's what he's doing today. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, Logan, why did we do all the flavoring testing if we might be able to put yeah. more coffee in the cups? We just have to do it again. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, so it's, um, as much as people say, you know, not to distract from our customer service chat, but no. as much as people say, they're like, oh my God, I want your job. I love R&D and trying the coffee. Sometimes it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not great all the time. No, sometimes you're like, oh, I, I can't drink anymore. You know, and then we've always had to like, make fun of my caffeine, which I think I've had a little much already this morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's just like, oh, crap. I gotta I'm try. Wired. Gotta try eight more and we're not done. Yeah, so. It can be good, but we do it for you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, we want to make sure it's good, and we want to make sure it's what we want to drink every day, too. Absolutely. Yeah, right? We take that pretty serious, and I think we do really well with that, you know, making sure that the coffee is the best for yeah, everyone. Still working Absolutely. on dialing that in. Yeah. But, yeah, so you might, you'll meet Melissa if you ever have to email or call us. She yeah. is, I mean, she is customer service. We're, mm. we're pretty little, so she's yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's kind of between one of the three of us, but mainly you, right? Yeah. You know? yeah, like if Melissa's on vacation or something, we kind of cover, but... Yeah. And then I'll do social media stuff, but sometimes yeah. I'm like, hey, please just email yeah, Melissa. For the most part. Yeah, for Yeah. 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 She, she knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, I've been liking that you've been ordering all the different copies. Are you trying them at home? I or are you am, giving them to people? Am. Have you found a favorite yet? I have not. I have really enjoyed all of the flavors I've tried. Nice. I have a couple of my girlfriends come over and we just kind of have a little coffee date and try the new I flavors. Love that. Fun. She's they, got Jamaican and stuff too, oh which yeah. I just got that one. I haven't tried it yet. The but creme de la creme. I like the Jamaican better than the Kona, I'll say. Mm -hmm. But okay. the, the problem with that I have with it is Kona, especially, it is a perfectly balanced cup of coffee. Yes. And that's not my cup of tea. I want something <laughs> I want something earthy. I want something okay. citrusy. Like I don't want a perfectly balanced cup of coffee. Sounds like I you guess. want Guatemalan. I love Guatemalan. Yeah. It's one of my favorites, yeah, for sure. So like the Kona is just like a super, super great cup of coffee, but yeah. there's not a lot of bite. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say and that. And I like yeah. a little bit of that. Yeah. My favorite okay. is Costa Rican La Manita. Have you tried yeah. the La Manita? I have. Yeah. You brew it for me every morning. Thank I you. Do. Yes. My first day here, you made me a cup. 
Yeah, that's right. I did, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. I make everybody try Lamanita as soon as I walk in the door. Like, you need to try this coffee. It's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was Logan telling me? I think he said the Ethiopian crop that we have right now is, like, superb. Really? Yeah. See, okay. I've always taken more tea notes out of the Ethiopian, and it's, like, never been, like, my cup of coffee, right. my cup of yeah. tea. Um, so I, I, I want to retry it. And that's what's interesting about crops. I mean, not that, you know, we're the geek out, you know, right, that's more Logan's um, yeah. thing. But every crop can be a little bit different. Did you know that about coffee? I did not. You're learning all the I new am. things. I am. I <laughs> am. Yeah, so, so it's really hard if you're, like, a straight coffee drinker and yeah. you get La Manita for, you know, maybe even a year. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, this tastes different. It just might be a different crop. Yeah. It could, yeah. It could taste a little bit different. Yeah. Heavy rainfall throughout. Yeah, all of those when it was affects the, the flavor. time of year it was harvested. Yeah. But, you know. If there's yeah. any defects in the beans, and oof, man, one day we should show all the pictures of our coffee trip and, like, picking the beans because that was hard. We should, I think we're doing that again. We keep talking about doing it again. Are you going to come this time? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she had just had one of her babies the yeah. last time we went, and she was just like... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. like, all right. <laughs> yeah, they do like the convention with our franchisees, and they usually go somewhere cool. And I had my daughter, and she was like three months old, and I flew out to convention for one day. Yeah, and in Vegas. I yeah. had just had Dallas. He was like probably probably six months old. Yeah, because October to yeah. February. Yeah. And then you guys were going on this coffee trip, and I'm like, you know what? It was a lot last time. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, and, yeah. You know. To be away from your infant that long is a well, long time yeah, to be away and from. Yeah, breastfeeding and stuff. Yeah. So it just didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. So it was yeah. a lot of work. Can you take a breast pump on the plane? I don't yeah, know how that yeah, works. Actually, you can. And you, you can, can make breast milk. But yeah. it's just, it's a lot of work and... Yeah. And they're so little. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You know. Well, and we flew in, I think, on a Thursday and flew out on a Saturday. So it was a really quick trip to Costa Rica. I think it was three, six hours of flights to get there, maybe? Yeah. So it wasn't three hours and three hours. It wasn't bad from this girl who, do you know I hate to fly, like, more than no, life? Like, I really, fun. like, I really hate <laughs> like, to fly. Almost in tears. Wow. Um, yeah, like, wow. Xanax me up, and I'll see you in three, you know? Okay. <laughs> um, but it actually wasn't bad. But what's scary about it is the, um, you're literally in the mountains, and you're on these roads that don't have guardrails, you know, oh, things yeah. we take for be like <laughs> first yeah. world problems. <laughs> so we have guardrails, you yeah. know, <laughs> um, and they don't have them. So you're literally in the back of a uh, farm truck and by in the back of, I mean, you're standing up, you're not buckled like in. You are rail. standing up on a potholed road and on this side of the, and it's a one lane road. Okay. It's not a two lane road. It's a one lane road. And on this side, here's the sheer cliff with the coffee trees. Oh, the coffee trees are right there. <laughs> um, they'll catch you when you die. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so dramatic. <laughs> it was. Okay, but one of our franchisees, I remember because we had three trucks and I look back and she was bawling. Like oh, it, yeah. it, oh. it was kind of scary. Yeah. Because, you, you know, I don't like roller coasters either. Big surprise. But it's kind of scary when you're like holding on and you're like, and there's my impending doom. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Looking Just down the cliffs. Look. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Melissa, <laughs> I was talking about you. Yeah, hard pass, right? Yeah. I don't know. That's it. I'm like soft Thank pass. you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> but mine's more emotion. I just get so emotion sick mm -hmm. that I would just feel sick the rest of the day. Right. Well, at awful. one point we were, we had, okay, so we were at the farm hacienda, the house, and then you had to go down to the processing, and they process coffee at night, and so they fed us, and with the food came really good Costa Rican rum. Oh, yeah. So, I've heard about this <laughs> we were not necessarily sober in the dark ride. If, oof, okay, I can't even I'm not sure if that would be a great plan either. Oh, no, it wasn't because you know what happened? Okay, so <laughs> you're <laughs> you're in the truck and there's these um, branches everywhere hanging across, like, the road. Right. And I'm in the middle. Lori is on this side of me and one of our franchisees is on this side. And the branch came, and he's on the side closer to the, like, the branches coming down. Yeah. A branch came and took him, and I don't even know how I did it, because I was maybe a little drunk. I hooked a leg on him, and, like, <laughs> like, and then Lori, like, grabbed me. We, like, like, human chained him, and I think we saved his life that night. Obviously. Wow. You and then we <laughs> fell down life. giggling, because it was super funny. Right. <laughs> right. So that's how much fun going on a coffee plantation trip is. Wow. <laughs> the things we do to bring you guys coffee. Right? 
So but Melissa, we went hi. Into the <laughs> hi. We got, I mean, we brought Melissa. Melissa started, what, in the middle of Christmas season. Which so, is I crazy. Mean, she got was... thrown to the wolves. <laughs> I yeah. felt so bad because we were, like, in the warehouse, and I'm trying to get a computer set up for her really quick and be like, Whoop. Here's the program. <laughs> and this is during time we work seven days a week. Yeah, so it's right. like, you know, okay, hold on, we're trying to help you. Yeah, you know. it was chaotic. Yeah. yeah. We awesome. survived. So, yeah. So. We did. Well, and you were super patient and super great. <laughs> she'd come back with just a list and she'd be like, I just have a couple of questions if I can borrow you. <laughs> like, yeah. She still does that, don't she? I do. you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's hard. Customer service is hard, right? Because you get a situation and they're so different. The yes. situations can be so different. Yes. It's like, how do you want to deal with every this, situation is you know? unique? I'll say for sure. Yeah, right? it's kind of crazy. Like, there's very few that are like replicatable, mm-hmm. which is why fishing out customer service to some company oh, doesn't never. really work. I don't know how right. people do that. You don't that. want to talk to somebody in India; they have no idea what's going on. Right, right. You know, here. Right, and there's so many things that you have to figure out too. Like yesterday, you had something where there are things that were missing out of a package, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you want to believe people when they say something's wrong, but let's be honest, in this day and age, and maybe always, yeah. people aren't always honest, so we have some things on our end that we have to do to investigate. Yeah. And you can't do that, you know, sitting 3,000 miles away. You have to, right, right, you know, right. look into our systems and say, okay, I figured out what happened, we got this. Yeah. Well, or even, like, if something comes in and people have a question or need to pause an order or something, it's not like... If they're super far away, you can't just run out to the warehouse and be like, wait a minute, can you just Yeah, that? no, you right. Know? It doesn't work that way. And it will never happen during the rush sale. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why we can't do it. But oh, we until you have one of those. Oh, I've heard I think we've got them. one next month, right? Uh, St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day, Day. yeah. Yes. Oh, Patrick's this is going to be fun. I can't wait for you to deal with your first uh, surprise sale. Yeah, but she got thrown to the walls. I mean... Frankie's a whole monster herself. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie is a dog. Frankie's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Like Frankie. she, she's a good girl, but yeah. yeah. She's got the nibs. She was really mad because when you, you have to train with Janelle for like a week or so. Yeah. And they had to bring a second chair over by Janelle because <laughs> Frankie had her chair always by Janelle. And she was so mad when Melissa came and took her she chair. She doesn't chair well. No. So they had to get a second chair. Yep. She sat on the other side of Janelle. Oh. Just curled up in a little ball. I'll have to yeah. send a picture of her to Janelle soon. I know so she was ridiculous. <laughs> she's a good dog. Yeah. She is a good dog. Yeah. But she's funny. So tell us a little bit about you. And you think fun facts. Oh, you put me on the spot. Fun I know. Facts. You have um, a baby. I have a toddler. Okay. <laughs> she's three and a half. I call her Captain Chaos because she's just chaotic. I um, love I think it's only happened like once, but I got a morning text and she's like, I'm gonna be late. It's been a morning. <laughs> like, yep, been there. She's mm-hmm. very strong willed and I love that about her. We just butt heads sometimes. And, you know, she's, she's in charge. She, like you want yeah. her to put shoes on. <laughs> I like yeah. to think that she's not, but you know, she Ugh. is. Boys. She's just having boy babies person. versus girl babies. Oh, yeah, I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't want to be a morning person either. Really? Like, why can't we start at like ten, but like still end at like five? Right. Right. Yeah. Because like, if be I could great. just sleep, and schools too. Like, yeah. I don't want to get to get my kid on the bus. We all need to get our sleep out. Yeah. What yeah. if we just start after we've gotten all of our sleep out? All of our sleep out. <laughs> the problem is we wouldn't actually sleep. <laughs> We just think we would sleep. We would play on our phone for hours and then sleep longer during the day. You're right. Yes. There's a reason yeah. why we have rules. Yeah. Weird yeah. how that works. Yeah. yeah. You have a little toddler. You're from the area, which is yes, cool. Yes, I am from the area. Yeah. grew up here. Um, and I lived in Lansing for a little bit, and then we moved back. Nice. After we had our daughter, because this is where uh, most of our family was. Nice. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need a free sitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my mom watched my kids, you know, so... You worked at the Secretary of State, right? I did. So I don't know if you guys have Secretary of State, but in Michigan. It's your DMV. Yeah, Yeah. it's the DMV of Michigan. It's where you go to do your license, your passport. Well, passport's kind of the post office. No, yeah, but you don't have passports there. Title, all the car stuff. All title and registration. You take your driver's test there. Yeah, everything. All sorts of weird stuff. CDLs, yeah. Yeah, lots of stuff you do. Hi Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Miss your face. So, yeah. and I mean, the Secretary of State is, it's not really a fun place to go. It takes a long time. Now you can kind of make appointments, which helps. You have to have oh, a bunch yeah. of paperwork. It's 
the, the online is very confusing. You can never tell what you need when you go in. It's pretty much considered one of the seven rings of hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to work or attend. Yeah. So Melissa got to deal with customers there. You know, it's very character building. So. <laughs> Basically, dealing with everyone means that you will get everyone, including the yes. highs and the lows, the yes. good and the bad. You know. Yes. So yeah. I'm hoping our customers are not as challenging no. as they were. Not at all. Mm. Not at all. That's good. And there's always we have challenges. Good customers, oh yeah, though, for sure. There's a couple that you know you can sprinkle in there and make. Yeah. They don't understand how the world works. Yeah. Well, and I think they, it's just remembering to speak kindly to people. No matter how you feel a situation is going, there's no reason to talk to anybody in a negative way. Right. You know? So far, I haven't had a whole lot of that. That's good. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, good. You know, I think you just... There's, there's been a... Fill my kindness. Yeah. There's yeah. been a couple who have been been fun. Yeah. 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 You can tell sometimes you're just like, did you mean to text that to me like that? <laughs> the funny thing is though, our text club, so mm -hmm. all the responses come into the customer service oh, portal. Now they and do we, good. We've had people text like their grocery list back to oh, us. No. And, like, oh, no. like, appointments or like all sorts of stuff. It's really funny. It's like, did you know who you were texting? <laughs> Long as we don't get pictures. <laughs> yeah, no pictures. I don't think a lot Lord. of people realize that there's somebody on the other side of those messages that yeah. they just like send whatever they want. Yeah. I've had a couple nasty ones so far, but yeah. I'm just like it. Yeah. Somebody's mom is answering these, you know. Right. Captain okay. Chaos's mom is answering these, and she doesn't need your chaos. <laughs> we have enough at home. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty shocking, though. I know you come in, you're like, did you see that? I'm like, I know. <laughs> it all starts out a conversation that way. Come and soft, you know. Well, it's usually like a demand. It's like, come in hot. Yeah. And it's just I like, want okay. this now. And it's like. Whoa, what's let's, even going on? Yeah, can you let's just diffuse this situation. Yeah. I need a little more information. Can you yeah. please give me your order number? Yeah. <laughs> can yeah. we start there? Yep. Yeah. yeah. But we make it. And yeah. then sometimes it's just like, you know that we're not that company, right? You're literally <laughs> emailing the completely wrong company. Oh, yeah. Okay. You've gotten some of our funny ones, too. Like, every once in a while, some really naughty customers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and, yeah. <laughs> well, have, like silly names or interesting oh, notes. Oh yeah. yeah, and uh, it's dude, just, some of the notes are hilarious. It's like, is this for real? <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite thing too is like we. I I mean, I know we've said this before, but we do handwrite, and not me personally, but um, handwrite every single every note single that note. goes out the door. So some of your notes are like pretty scandalous. <laughs> Just so you know, we die laughing and then we write them and send them out. Oh yeah, <laughs> but we show everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, did you see this? Hey, Bill says oh, he's talked to, to you. This and is what she looks like, Bill. <laughs> A face to the name. Yes. <laughs> This is Melissa. She's so nice. <laughs> I know. She has, like, best phone voice. You hear from the office, and it's, like, so calm and nice. <laughs> Who, yeah. But I would say your customer service voice is your real voice, though. You don't is really it? have. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, you don't yeah. really, like, flip on a switch. Not like Janelle did. <laughs> yeah, Janelle over there. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Coffee Beanery. All of a sudden you're like, who is that? <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't know, though. Give her six months and then we'll see. <laughs> if you have a customer service voice. Yeah. And a real voice. She might be using it on us, too. <laughs> she doesn't know us that well. <laughs> the customer service voice is real. Right. I well, mean, I have one. You know. Bob always called it like six month Bob or something. Oh, or six yeah. Bob. It takes like six months before you really like, you know, take your hair down and like show everybody your true colors. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a six month me. Yeah. <laughs> you are just, I am who I am. Yeah, from the beginning. And that that's great. Yeah, there's no surprises. That's great. This is just yeah. who I am, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so do you have a, like, because I don't, I've never worked at other offices, so I don't know. Yeah. So is there anything, like, different or silly from working here so far that's different? Um. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> I mean, the environment is a lot more fun here than some of the other places I've worked. Oh, yeah. It's a think lot so. more laid back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we yeah. like to work hard and have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. We get sure. things done through many jokes and yeah. activities. And sometimes the very last second. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, sometimes the very last <laughs> second. 
Like, hold on, I got a phone call in five minutes and I need to go write a three page report. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had inventory and we're like mass folding shirts the day before inventory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. we just have to get them on the show. <laughs> and and like, you did. It was we very did. quiet the week before, so I'm like, yeah, I can do that. And I worked through a couple of boxes. It'll be done before inventory. And then it was like week of, and it was just chaos on <laughs> all communications. And I'm yeah. just like, okay, yeah. we're not going to get this done. <laughs> I walk in one morning, and Britain's just standing there folding all the shirts. Got I had it. them all <laughs> folded in piles. And then I was like, well, I figure people can take piles and pack them up, and then nobody made it out of the warehouse. <laughs> so, but I came back, and you had them all back, which was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Very easy to count that yeah, way. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oof, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. We used to just have t-shirts, like, in filing cabinets and stuff, mm -hmm. and literally every time you pulled a shirt out, you'd have to, like, reorganize them. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot that about that. Awful. I don't ever want to go back to that. I just went to a really no. dark place in my mind remembering how awful that <laughs> we was. We won't make you go back. Yeah. Oh, it was so bad. The <laughs> inventory so of it. Bad. And it's kind of funny because Britain's really good at like brainstorming like a better way to do things. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you get stuck in something you just do something because you've always done it that way. And she'll be like, I think we should do this. And you're like, yeah, we should. That's brilliant. <laughs> we should 100%. Why haven't we always been doing that? But sometimes so. we do it and we're like, no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought of this? Yeah. Well, at least we gave it a shot. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there, yeah. there is better ways to do stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did I call you on Friday and you were organizing something and I was just like, yeah, that makes the most sense, you know? <laughs> Oh, oh, at my house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was. I was at my house on Friday. I decided on my own to move my office all the way upstairs to our bonus room. I'm talking, I moved bookshelves. <laughs> I moved cute. By yourself? Yeah, I pushed them up the stairs. It was really <laughs> By hard. By yourself. Yeah. yeah, I like emptied them off and then I wiggled them out to the hallway <laughs> and I tipped them down the stairs and I got under it and I... But the problem is the top kept getting got, so you had to wiggle every stair That's up. That's dangerous. Push the bookshelves up to the top, drag them down into the room, and measure. You guys, she's totally an oldest child. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, and I'm talking, these are like floor-to-ceiling bookcases. Yeah. I, I, yeah. All the cute, I have like a 12-cube organizer, got that up there. <laughs> the only thing I couldn't move up by myself is the desk, just because I need a... Uh, I need internet up there first, oh, but yeah. then I'm sure I could do that too. You definitely could do that. You're pretty techy. Well, I it's like the press wood though, so I'm like a little bit nervous it'll fall apart if I try right, to do yeah. it myself. Once you move it, it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. once you build it, it stays yeah. there for its life. Thank yeah. you. Well, you I've already I've moved it a couple of times, so I, we should be able to get upstairs. I just ne might need an assist on that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pretty. Uh, I I have like no fear of moving furniture. I can move <laughs> yeah. pretty much anything by myself. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen you do some weird things oh, like oh, good. Like this. Yeah. I love that you love that one. That was a fun one. The Valentine's coffee. Yeah, it's almost out too. Aren't we out of most of the flavors? I looked at it this morning it's when I was in the warehouse. It's close. Yeah. Uh, and we've been making like extra, extra. Yeah. And running out really quick. Yeah. We have a super cool surprise for you in the next month, though. Ooh, are we gonna tell people or is it a surprise? surprise? No, we'll tell people. It's it won't go inside the boxes. It's gonna go inside the full size yeah. after. Yeah. But there will be prizes to be won. I'm so excited about this. Yeah. Oh, because, you know, I, we already said the theme. You know what the theme is for this month? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the theme is Mardi Gras. Right? And I know on our yeah. VIP page I put up a post to heck go guess the flavors. I only had a couple guesses, but I do want to give out a prize. So, you know, guess the flavors. I did see one guess on there that was, like, pretty close. I think I saw that. Pretty good. Pretty guess. close. Pretty close guess. Not dead yeah. on, but pretty close. Yeah, I don't. Nobody was dead on, but yeah. Mm. There were some good guesses in there. The flavors of Mardi Gras, though, that sounds fun. And we decided to take uh, part of the theme and, you know, buy, expand, yeah, on expand on it. Expand on it. Yeah. Do you put, know? You know. Put what we're some doing? little lucky charms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oof. When we when we announce what it is, we'll have to go back and forth between our emails that we sent back and forth on this. Where you said. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll definitely tell you our thoughts. I like process. when we're super cryptic in our e or in our lives, and then we tell you about it later. You know. Yeah, we don't want to ruin the surprise, but there was a thought process. Jennifer, I do think that you get the March one. I think, or no? Do we figure that February was your last one, and then the March one? I, I literally just looked at it like fifteen minutes ago because I was making sure everybody was getting the boxes there. I went through one by one again. Yeah, you tried to, to that. see. Yeah. 
we're getting really close to solving the issue. It's just like the couple of people left. Yeah. And I want to yeah. make sure that no new ones get caught up in this issue. Yeah. Um, so I will double check and email you. I just wrote it down on the paper in front of me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I walked in here and it left my brain. <laughs> Weird how that happens. Yeah. yeah. Exactly how that happens. Nice. So I will check. Um, yeah. But I definitely saw one shipping for this month. Okay. For Jennifer. Yeah, for Jennifer. Okay. Yeah, you definitely so you get, have Oh, yeah, because February is the last one, I thought, that we decided, and then March you might have to renew. I'm pretty sure we maybe already talked about this. But oh, I know we talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, like, we've definitely talked about it, but it's just, like, <laughs> confirming, confirming. Yeah, right? yeah. I'll Double check, confirm. I'll check right after this and shoot you a message. All right. Or have Patty shoot you a message, probably. Is yeah. I like it. I like to message on Messenger. I don't use Facebook. Like, I have Facebook. Yeah, you and really don't post on there ever. No. I no. sit on, like, the reels and stuff, and, like, I like to see what's going on, but I don't post. And partially that's just because um, I have little kids. Yeah. And people are weird. Yeah. People are super people weird. Are super weird. Yeah. And they'll, like, take your pictures of your kids and, no. Nope. Ew. Yeah. No, I thank know. you. So I just kind of stopped. Yeah. Posting yeah. on it. Yeah. You send me, I only, like, post at baseball season. Look what my kid's doing. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, I send you and my mom, like, we're in a little group chat, and we send messages all the time. Like, yeah. That's mainly yeah. just from, like, Facebook Reels and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty much, like, the only people I message is you and Lori, like, yeah. constantly, like, look at this! Well, and too, so, if you message my mom on Facebook, you have a way better chance of getting hold of her than yes, texting her. this is true. She has so many unread text messages yes. and emails that Facebook, like, chimes in and... That's so true. Wow. Yeah. 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 We so know how to get hold of Lauren. Main form of communication so you know. is Facebook Messenger with Yes. Her. Yes. Which reminds me, I had to schedule our next book club. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's coming up. Yeah, because I think she messaged us this morning. Oh, because she was the one thinking about a lunch at like 8 a.m. this morning. And <laughs> she did. Yeah, because usually it's me. Like, hey, what are we going to have eaten today, guys? But we decided we're going to try to bring our lunches, and on Wednesday, we're going to order food. It's Wednesday. So we're going to, and we should wear pink on Wednesdays. Look at me. Yeah. On Wednesdays, we wear pink and we I, order lunch. I feel like I wear pink though most days. You do. Pink looks good on you. Yeah. I, I just wore this today. because I had a Def Leppard shirt on this morning and I decided that I have too many phone calls to wear a Def Leppard shirt. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I do have like three more meetings today. I'm just like, oh, yay for Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is Melissa. So glad you get to meet her. Yes. Um, drop in, say hi, send her a chat. I just checked her mail. February is your last. Okay. Don't order until after two fifteen. Oh yes, because you'll get two. Yeah, and yeah. Please wait until yeah. after the fifteenth of the month. So after next month. So next Thursday. And preferably even wait till after the sixteenth because the orders that come in on the sixteenth are very confusing to me because I'm trying to sort who goes with what month. <laughs> But definitely before March 15th, that's all you have to do. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Um, yes. And we have, like, the rest of the year planned out. And thank yeah. you so much for the suggestions. Yeah. We were able to incorporate a lot of them. Yeah, I'm awesome. super excited. I you know, I need to go check and see if my samples are coming because I've ordered, like, a lot of flavor. I think you even got the messages and you're like, um, what is this? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I hadn't seen the live. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah oh. Bill sent us a lot of good ideas. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we like were like, it. we asked people to message us. Yeah. <laughs> that What's, makes way more sense. Yeah. <laughs> What's fun is, like, taking those ideas and then finding a flavor that matches them. Them, or yeah. asking the flavoring company to make one and then trying it and going, that doesn't taste like this at all, you know? Right. Yeah. So, super fun. They do a pretty good job. I'm though. most excited that I'm going to say um, about October. You know, obviously I can't say anything more, but... I don't even know what she's talking um, about. For the October box, Thank basically, you. I get Thank to bring up my team. inner goth girl, okay? <laughs> okay. Is all I'm going to say about it. My 8th grade goth self is loving October's box. Okay. okay. I did. One of the boxes inspired me to read a book. I know. And watch a movie. And was the book better than the, or the movie was better than the book, right? <laughs> okay, because most of the time she enjoyed it. Most of the know. time the book is better than the movie, but in this case, and you'll know this is April's box, the movie is my favorite version of the movie. I was bored in oh, both. Bummer. And it made me feel sad that she said that because I really love like it. that movie. Okay. Yeah. I know it was really scandalous in its time. Mm -hmm. It was fine. Like, it was an okay movie. It's a I period would, movie. I wouldn't watch it again. Author initials J.A. 
Wink, wink. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, PNP is the name of the oh book. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, it's straight up giving it away. I don't know. Maybe not. It's a period piece. P and P. It's the female author, J.A. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a quick Google search <laughs> could give you that feed. I don't know. I think I'm giving riddles today and people don't know what the riddles are. If you know and you post below, I might give you a prize because I don't know if you do know. Yeah. So I, I see <laughs> that it was very scandalous. It was entertaining. There was a few good quips there, you know. Yeah. It just was, it could have been like an hour. <laughs> Oh, that, that hurts just a little. I know. Just a little bit. I know. I said that is going to be so sad. <laughs> yeah. I will say, you know, some of the older books, and we talked about this, right? Because they're written in that, like, proper English. Like, yeah. have you ever tried to read that? I remember to this too. Like, The Scarlet Letter was written, I think, in the 1600s, and the Daniel Hawthorne. That's super hard to read. Yeah. Like, you're just like, what's happening? Well, see, I feel like, like after reading, like, Outlander and some of the other books, like, at understand yeah. how they speak I know what they're saying yes so it wasn't I didn't think it was that difficult to read I'm just wondering if maybe I read it at like 14 or 15 or watched the movie like then if it would have been like oh my gosh instead of watching it. I think the opposite right. only because the different. way that it's written and worded I don't know that 15 year old well not the book have... necessarily but if I had yeah. seen the movie yeah at that age yes. like it might have been yeah. more romantic, or I don't right. know. And yeah. now I'm just kind of like, you're an yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like the Diana Gabaldon is written by a modern author writing, yeah. you know, like period pieces. So then when you have an actual author of that period writing right. the way they actually spoke, it's definitely different. You're just like, what is that? You know? Yeah, I, I honestly Google search. felt like the book <laughs> yeah. was slightly more entertaining. So. Did you listen to it, too? I did. I listened to it. Emma something, there's an actress, Emma something, that reads one of their books, one of her books, and they're very good. Like, I like okay. the way that she reads it, so. Yeah. Not that you're going to read another one. I felt bad one. having to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll survive somehow. I understand the hype. <laughs> so there is, like, that sometimes, so, like, some, I, I mean, it, most of the time, if, like, we all love a book, we all love a book. Right. Are you a reader? I am. Okay, like, yeah. most of the time we all, like, love the same thing. Like, oh, my God, you guys got to read this. It's crazy. But yeah. every now and then there's one, like, what was that one, The Secret Life of Addie LaRue? And, or, oh, and, then, and like, we Night didn't. Circus. Yeah, I didn't even read and Night Addie Circus. LaRue. But Addie LaRue, we're just like, but it is a really different story, I'm going to yeah. say. Lori loved Night, it. We're just like, Night we don't Circus like this. It wasn't even that bad. It was just so long. Like, it did not need to be that yeah. long. And the worst book of all time is? Oh my god, Pisces. <laughs> the Pisces. Dude, if you don't read it. <laughs> don't read it. Don't read it. Don't even the um little like what's the thing where they give us the synopsis. synopsis. The synopsis sounds great. No. No. It doesn't even allude to what's in this book. Yeah. Do not read it. Bye Bill, don't read the Pisces. Just just go leave it a <laughs> one star review. No, <laughs> one star review. Go read my review about it on Goodreads. <laughs> yeah, that's probably all. I think you it need. said, God, that was weird. That's all I said. <laughs> yeah. But Janelle, Janelle loved it, it and wrote a really long review. And really I think I commented it. on her review and said, God, that was weird. Yeah. Why would you write this? Yeah. We all we, we talk about this book all the time because it is the strangest. Can you read it so we can talk about it? Because no, it's strange. No, do not read it. <laughs> You'll be traumatized for the rest of your life. It's a hundred percent true. Do it. Yeah. We should probably too, Bill. <laughs> I guess we need to go back I to guess work. We need yeah. to go to work. All right. Thanks for Thanks. joining us yeah. and um I hope you can talk to Melissa sometime for good reasons. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye guys, take Bye. care. Bye.